Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. We go now to the financial week as carrying out online transactions, especially for persons without a credit card or even a bank account, has generally been a problem. But WePay, a new e-payment platform, is looking to change that. So how does it work? Our WePay platform works exactly like your phone card top up, Flow and Digital. But instead of topping up a Flow account or a Digital account, you could top up any account which have the WePay plugin installed. That plugin is free for any business, for any individual, once you provide your KYC and KYB information to the company, we give you the plugin, you add your bank account, and now you could receive online payments from a top-up card. This means once a business joins the WePay platform, anyone, banked or unbanked, can do business. It's modeled to work similar to PayPal or other e-payment platforms, but there's something that makes it unique. So the platform is simple. It's based on the top-up model. People know how to purchase a top-up for phone cards. We just allow that top-up to be spent on websites and mobile applications. It appears the same way on the website as the credit card gateway does. It just has a little WePay button. So you click on WePay and you enter the top-up card as you would a credit card. You could find the top up at any of the places that you would sell a phone card top. Their technology will also facilitate transactions from Visa and MasterCard debit and credit cards, making it easy for businesses hoping to make the switch. Once a business signs onto the platform, consumers can make payments from any terminal in any establishment. Lasco Financial Services and Caribbean Airlines are among the first in Jamaica to get on board. We go on to currency trading. The day ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $133.44. The Canadian dollar cost $102.56. The pound ended the day at $165.89, while the euro is now being sold for $150.37. Now stock trading closed today lower than last week. The JSE index lost 8,000... Closed at 8,971 points. The junior market index also declined, losing 12.42 points. The top performing stocks were on Friday were Sibony Group, Jamaica Producers, Lasco Financial Services, Main Event Entertainment, and Access Financial Services. And on the losing side were CPJ Limited, NCB Financial Group, Fosterich, Portland JSX, and Nutsford Express Services. And that wraps up the financial week. Good evening.